Hi, this is Scott Cartwright. And this is Dr. Rudy Cartwright, the MS Health Coach. And thank you so much for checking out our video. We are glad you are here. You are here to find out how close we are to a cure for multiple sclerosis, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about multiple sclerosis and the cure before we or if there is a cure or how close we are to a cure but before we jump into that we just need to let you know a little bit about us like I said my name is Scott Cartwright I have a master's degree in public health and I work with um, patients and their diseases all day on a daily basis and I'm also the founder and creator of MS Health University it is a site that I put together because MS affects me personally uh, my wife has MS and I thought it would be very nice and, and helpful to share the information that we have found with other MS recoverers out there. Dr. Carrad again. I'm a brain surgeon and an expert in multiple sclerosis. And, and if you're wondering how a brain surgeon becomes an expert in multiple sclerosis, well let me just tell you. I have over 35 years of training and experience. And during that time I've seen my share of brain injuries and spinal cord injuries because of motorcycle accidents, truck accidents, bicycle accidents, football accidents, car accidents. As it turns out, what occurs in those kind of injuries to the brain and spinal cord over a short period of time occurs in multiple sclerosis over an extended period of time. Now, why am I so passionate about MS and the recovery from that horrible disease? About uh, four or five years ago, my son, Scott, got on the phone and said, Dad, you know, my wife is, you know, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And she was in the middle of her, of her uh, medical school training. And I said, don't fear, don't fear, I know what to do. So that sent me back to the library doing my typical research. I just needed to brush up on it. And I put together a program for her, which she followed. And I'm happy to say that she finished her medical school training and she is in the middle of her residen residency training doing quite well. And that's where I wanted to leave it. And then one day Scott walked in and said, Dad, you have to share this information with others who have multiple sclerosis. And I go, no way, no way, no way, Scott. I'm not interested in the limelight. But he kept hammering on me and kept hammering on me and kept hammering on me and I finally gave in and I started to give presentations and webinars and that's why I'm here to share this kind of information with you and really you know to share the kind of information that we want to know in terms of more a cure for multiple sclerosis now here is a slide of my diploma from Baylor College of Medicine that indicates my that I did my neurosurgery training from June 1974 through June of 1979. All right, great. And because you want to know about a multiple sclerosis cure, we're going to jump into that. I just need to let you know that Dr. Cartwright is a medical doctor with over 35 years of training and experience, but the information we're sharing with you today is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as medical advice. Dr. Carrett has not seen you as a patient and cannot give you medical advice. So whatever you do, please be sure to consult your doctor before you make any changes to your medical routine. And with that, let's find out. All right. Let's find out how close we are to a cure for multiple sclerosis. First of all, the cause of MS is not known. It is not known. The second thing you need to be you need to be aware of is that multiple sclerosis, which they say is an autoimmune disease, but they have no proof of it. So first, they don't know what caused it, and second, they have no proof of it being an autoimmune disease. But they've gone down this road to say it is autoimmune, and so what we need to do is uh, suppress the immune system with different drugs. But they have no convincing evidence that uh, such approach is really, really, really significant. Because over a period of time, when you have multiple sclerosis, you constantly slowly go downhill. Slowly go downhill. So, here's what they know. 
that there is no treatment that has stood the test of time in preventing disability progression. They just have no, they have no proof of that. And this slide, I want to, I want to make sure you look at it. Look at the top. I'm telling you where this information came from. At the top, it gives you the journal article, and then in bold, it gives you the title of the article, and then under that, it gives you the authors. And these are people who do a significant amount of research in terms of multiple sclerosis. All right? The next point these authors make, they say, in all trials of MS drug, there is no evidence or total arrest or cure in a single patient, not one. And then they go on and say, you know what? The consequences of just continuing down this road of, of autoimmunity will really get you nowhere. Won't get you there. And here's the point that they really drive home. And that is, you can never find what you're looking for when you're going down the wrong road. And that is, they're looking for a cure, but they're going down the wrong, ro wrong road. So, based on what these uh, researchers have determined, is that they're not really close to a cure, a cure for multiple sclerosis. Well, I think it's important to, to point out that it's really a, a great thing that you're here, that you're actively researching information on the internet and, and you found this video because it shows that, that you know that, there, that there's no cure out there or what you're being offered as treatment is not working and you're trying to find things that will work for you and so that's a really you know that's a really congratulations to you for doing that because if you're just sitting around waiting for them to come up with a cure and they're trying to cure it in terms of it being an um, autoimmune disease it seems like we'll never get there is that would you agree with that Dad? I, I, would, I would agree with that all right great so if you like this kind of information it's kinda it may not be the information you wanna hear but it's information that will be helpful to you we kinda you know it's no holes barred we tell it like it is like we see it uh, if you like that kind of information there's more great information like this on our website at www dot mshealthuniversity.com you can also click on the link in the description section of this video and it will take you there but when you get over to the site you'll find uh, more in-depth videos that we have for you free videos for you they go over all different aspects of multiple sclerosis and the things that you can do to to continue to get rid of your MS symptoms so we hope you like this video we had a great time recording this video for you we're going to be coming out with other videos so keep an eye out for those as well and until until next time, here's to your health.